Hey, what's going on guys? In this video, I am going to create a Facebook campaign and I'm just going to walk you through it from start to finish, show you exactly what I do. This is for affiliate marketing and I'm going to be targeting ClickFunnels users. I will show you all of my settings. I'm going to show you my targeting. I'm going to show you the actual ad and I'm going to show you the landing page. So we're just going to walk it through here. This is going to be a cold campaign as well. This is starting here. There's no retargeting involved and I absolutely love video views for these ads. All right, I'm going to go ahead and name my campaign all the way through. I already had that. I'm going to just copy. I stay really linear with all of mine with my campaign, with my ad set, with my ad. Really the only thing I make some adjustments is I might throw some different ads in there, but I don't do a whole lot with ad sets. And I create all new campaigns for that stuff. That's just me. There's lots of different ways you can do it. And that's all you get is the way I do it. So cool. Let's uh, go with video views. We're going to jump in. And I don't do anything here in the campaign itself. All right. Um, I have tinkered with campaign budget optimization. It has not made a difference for me one way or the other. So in order to remove one thing, I don't mess with that. So we're going to jump right on to the ad set. Again, we already have the uh, ad set name there. My daily budget, we'll keep it at 20 bucks a day to get started. That should get us a pretty good amount of video views. And we're going to come on down here. Um, all right, so I'm going to stick with the United States. My age here, this is something, and this is going to see actually one of the ads. I already have it queued up here. The number one mistake that I see ClickFunnel users making, all right? What do you think that may be? Well, I'm gonna tell you, and you can go watch that video. It is not knowing who their avatar is as far as this type of targeting, right? You really have to know who this is. Now, there's a lot of ClickFunnel users out there. They probably range from under 18 to, you know, 65 plus, that's fine. I also have to know not only who I'm targeting, but who resonates with me. <clears throat> so when I look at this, I'm gonna be looking at 34 to 46, because I know my demographic and I know who has actually bought things from me in the past, and they're gonna be men, all right? That doesn't mean that women and people outside of those ranges have not made purchases or um, joined different groups or whatever the case may be. I know from my marketing, those are the people that usually resonate with me because I do a lot of videos. So those are the ones that I'm going to really target. I know my avatar from there. All right, the next thing we're going to do is detailed targeting. All right, so from detailed targeting, let's jump into interests. And I'm going to go with business and industry. I'm going to scroll down here. There's a lot of options for you, too. And I'm, I'm going to talk a little bit about some of these. Am I interested in people that are entrepreneurship? I am, but not detailed enough for me. I'm coming down to online, and I'm going to start looking at these. Digital marketing, but you got to pay attention to something here. Uh, see, I do that, and it messes it up. Over here, you got 175 million, almost 176 million people that are interested in that as far as digital marketing. That is way more people than I want to advertise to, right? So display advertising, email marketing, online advertising, let's go through them, SEO. I don't want someone with SEO because I'm looking at funnel type of stuff and that's typically not in the SEO realm. All these down website. So I'm gonna go back up to digital marketing and I am gonna go with that alone for this. See what it does. Is it uh, 2.1 million people? So that's pretty good. I'm going to keep it in that range. And for me, I look between, you know, between one and five, probably one and five million people that are have that type of interest. So I'm going to keep it right there. Um, I do not do anything with detailed targeting expansion until I'm ready to scale, right? But this is cold right now. You can take a look at some of these other things, right? Hide that. Um, let's see. Placements. 
I'm going to stick with automatic placements as well for this. I usually let uh, Facebook and their algorithm do their job because the front end is one thing, right? You want people to raise their hand. And the way with video marketing that I get them to raise their hand is they watch a certain amount of my video. I'm going to show you here too, which I'll, I'll just go to here. Um, as far as when I get charged, I change mine to a through play. Some people like impression. I like through play. And that is 15 seconds that someone's watched it. So at a minimum, my retargeting, which I'll have another video for that, if you end up liking this video, want to see others with uh, Google Display, Google Search, uh, YouTube ads, you can check it out. I'll drop a link on here somewhere. But with this, I only remarket then to people that have seen a certain amount of my videos because of the raise their hand. So if I've got a five to seven minute video and they've watched 25% of it, they've invested a fair amount of time with me. And so that's someone that I may want to uh, retarget to and then show them some of the things that I have. On the front though, right here, cold marketing, what I wanna do is get them to raise their hand and say that they're interested, right? So we're gonna go through with that, leave it automatic placements, and I am going to click on next. All right, so I've already got my ad on here. I like to use a, an existing post because what that's gonna do then is this one just posted you're going to see you already get some reach, you already get some engagement, right? But what I can do then is that type of engagement shows up for people when they visit my Facebook page. So I want to keep all the likes, all the comments, I want to keep all that stuff on there and make sure that people are seeing that. So I'm going to come down for the create the ad. I'm going to switch this to use existing post. I'm going to select a post. It is my most recent one, so I'm going to select it. I'm going to continue. I don't get very much organic reach either. I am, I'm a paid ads person, and it's going to show you everything that's uh, seen here. And let's just look at it again. I, I really want to talk to ClickFunnel users, and usually that attracts other marketers as well. But you're going to see here the number one mistake I see ClickFunnel users making, and then I do take a video that goes through it and I do a giveaway, not a giveaway, it's the freebie that I'm trading for um, their email address, but it's a hundred of the greatest headlines ever written and they can download that, it's really cool. Um, and it really helps a lot of people, especially when they're trying to find their avatar. Because that mistake that people make is they don't know what to put in here. So let's say that they've narrowed it down a little bit and they have their age group, they've got male or female, they've got their interests, they don't really know what to put here. This is a one of those types of headlines, the number one mistake I see ClickFunnel users making. Are you making it too? Oh, I need to change that. Oh, it's a question mark. I had it blocked out, I thought it was a colon. Are you making it too? Well, people now are going, oh, I use ClickFunnels. I hope I'm not making that mistake. And so they're gonna watch the video, right? And hopefully I give them some value in here. My marketing is all about value and relationships. And then if they see that they're making that mistake, they can change it. And then they can also grab these headlines from other fantastic marketers. I won't act like I wrote any of these because I did not. Lots of great marketers use these headlines. So that's one of those mistakes. And so I'm going to drive that to there. Let's see. What do we got? What do we got? Um, I go back and forth whether or not I um, put add a button on there. Sometimes I do, sometimes I don't. In this one, I'm not going to because I actually put the link in the description and I put it on top of the video as well. Uh, keep in there, everything there. Let's go Facebook Pixel. Uh, that is active. I'll have to have my guys check on that. And from there, I'm going to click on publish and we're just going to get this baby out the door and it's publishing it. So you can go over, you can check on, I'll uh, drop the link then for this while well, you can see it up there and you'll be able to see this on onlinefam.com on my Facebook page. So you can get the headline there. So you can check those out. If you like this video, like I said, if you want to see others for my Google display network, periodically, you'll see my retargeting that's on those. I'll drop a link for that as well that you can see all of my other videos on the website 
so that you can just follow along because that's the biggest thing. I've been doing this since 2008 and the biggest thing I see when people get into it is they get frustrated because one, they can set up an ad, they can start to get traffic, but they rarely get conversions. They don't get much leads. They don't get many people um, making sales for whatever it is that they're selling. I do a lot of affiliate marketing and so they get really frustrated. So if you want to be able to see my ads and stuff, then just follow along. Don't copy them, all right? You can use them as a model. You can use them and massage them and make them your own and go from there, all right? So there will be a link on here somewhere for that. And if you got any questions, definitely drop them in. All right, peace.